Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to be working on an application of the second law of thermodynamics. Specifically, we're going to be looking at heat engine efficiency. The variables you're looking at are QC. This is the heat leaving the heat engine to a cold temperature source. QH, which is the heat coming in from a higher temperature source. And then E is the efficiency, okay? Recall the efficiency is equal to the amount of work done which is the useful energy output of an engine divided by the total energy it takes in. Now remember work itself is equal to the heat going in minus the heat going out. And we can divide that over the heat going in. So we can just rewrite that another way. And finally, if you split up QH into a common denominator and two separate fractions, it could be written as one minus QC over QH. Okay, let's begin. As always, make sure you read carefully, make sure you annotate, and uh, let's go and do this. A test model for an experimental gasoline engine does 45 joules of work and gives up 31 joules as heat. Okay, so gives up, that would be QC. We wanna know the efficiency of the engine. So right away, okay, we have the idea that we have QC is 31 joules. We have the work, which is 45 joules, okay? And we are trying to find um, the efficiency. Now the efficiency is the work divided by the heat coming in, QH. We don't have that. So this is gonna be a two part problem. Okay, we have to find QH first. So work is equal to QH minus QC, heat coming out minus heat coming in. Take your QC and add it to both sides. And QH is the work plus QC, which is going to be 31, uh, 45 plus 31. Right, which is 76 joules. Now we can go ahead and take 45 joules divided by 76 joules, and we'll get the efficiency from that. 45 divided by 76 is 0.59, right? Or we could say move the decimal over twice, 59% efficient. So what that means is it's 59% efficient, but 41% of that energy is lost to heat to the environment. Number two, we have a coal burning plant has an efficiency of 35%. Or write that as a decimal, 0.35. The plant uses, that would be QH, 7.37 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat, how much work is done. So work is equal to QH, uh, excuse me, let me back that up. Efficiency is equal to work divided by QH. Now, if we can solve for work by multiplying both sides by QH. And so the work done is going to be your efficiency, 35%, write it as a decimal though, times 7.37 times 10 to the 8 joules. And we'll get about 2.58 times 10 to the eight joules. Suppose an engine has an efficiency of 11% and performs uh, 1150 joules of work. Remember, write that as a decimal. How much energy is taken in? QH. How much energy is exhausted? QC. So it's a two-part problem. Okay, so the first part I'm looking at is E equals the work divided by QH. 
Go ahead and take those two and swap them, switch a room. And QH is equal to the work divided by the efficiency. We're going to go 1150 divided by 0.11. And we're going to get about 10,455 joules. Okay. Now for the work, we're going to take work equals QH minus QC. Okay. And what we'll do to get QC is we're going to add QC over to the left and subtract work over to the right. And you get QC is equal to QH minus the work. So QH was 10,455 minus the work of 1150. And we get about 9,300 joules. Question four, find the efficiency of a gas that during one cycle receives, that's QH, 365 joules of energy and loses, that's QC, 223 joules to the exhaust. So the efficiency is one minus QC over QH. So that's one minus 223 joules over 365 joules. So we're going to take 223 divided by 365, and we're going to go one minus that answer. And we get about 0.39 or 39% efficiency on that engine. Not very efficient. And then finally, we're going to find the efficiency E during one cycle. We're receiving, okay, that's QH, 571 joules of energy and losing 463. So pretty much the same type of problem as number four. We're going to go 463 divided by 571, and then we're going to take one minus that answer. And we get about 0.19 or 19% efficient. So as you can see, doing heat engine efficiency problems is not too terribly difficult. As always, make sure that you are um, reading correctly annotating correctly and organizing correctly, and you should just do fine. Um, please remember to pause or rewind as you need to. I hope you found this helpful. See you next time.